Welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ashia, and today I want to answer to a very important question. How long the immunity lasts after we receive the coronavirus vaccine? Before we get into it, I want to ask you all, if you don't have any allergy towards the food and drugs and you love yourself and your family and your society, you must get the vaccine. That's no other choice for it. This vaccine can help us to go back and fight this coronavirus and bring our society back to normal. But the reason I'm making this video is about the right expectation. I'm very worried that people have a wrong expectation and then get disappointed. And right now there are so many stupid anti-vax people out there that they are waiting for the disappointment from the majority of people to strike in and make the situation even worse. So if, if you want to know more about my analysis regarding the longevity of this immunity, please follow me. What is the long-term immunity? Long-term immunity comes from the production of the consistent amount of the antibody inside our blood. And this happened by the very important white cell, which call it plasma B cell, which is inside our bone marrow. Don't make mistake, there are other uh, white cells also involved, including memory B cell. But for example, memory B cell are also important in producing the uh, antibody. But the problem with the memory B cell is when they want to reactivate to produce the antibody against a certain virus, they need to meet the infection, then they need maturity time, and they need the time to produce a certain amount of uh, antibody so it reached a certain level in our blood, and that's the only time that we get immunity towards that virus. To explain more about the long-term immunity, for example, I myself received the hepatitis B vaccine 15 years ago, and by today, if I do the blood test, it's very easily can be detected the antibody for the hepatitis virus inside my blood. Therefore, I'm still immune to these viruses. So could we expect the same thing from the coronavirus uh, vaccine? In a simple term, no. And I wanna explain to you why. To explain this matter more, I'm gonna compare the coronavirus vaccine with the influenza vaccine. So why I'm gonna compare these two vaccines? First, both of these viruses are very similar. They spread similar, they both cause a respiratory infection, they both are RNA viruses. And on top of all of this, based on the very important recent research, it shows that our immune response towards the influenza virus is very similar to the respond, our immune system response towards the coronavirus infection. So our body basically kind of react in the same way. And, and the other more important matter is, as you all know, uh, we can consistently get infected by the uh, influenza virus uh, in our lifetime. And it's very similar to the case of coronavirus infection. As it's well documented by WHO and CDC, there are so many people who, who got infected with the SARS-CoV-2 uh, that caused COVID-19 and after they recover, when they did the blood test on these people, they found out that the level of antibody slowly, slowly start to fade away after three months, four months. And then so many cases are reported that people again got the coronavirus infection after the first infection. So there is very strong similarity between these two viruses. So now I'm going to compare these two vaccines. Based on the research that has done in 1996 on the uh, immunity that caused by the influenza vaccine, they found out the reason why influenza vaccine cannot last for a lifetime. They did the analysis on the blood cell and as well as the bone marrow cell, and they found out the two important uh, white cells, which is memory B cell and uh, plasma B cell, are involved in immunity against the, the flu viruses. So means after we receive the flu vaccine, these two type of cell produce a lot. They, they specialize to produce this, this they specialize to produce the uh, antibody against the flu virus. But the problem is, similarly to what happened to coronavirus, after a while, the number of the B cells, the plasma B cells, for those who are receiving the flu vaccine, start to drop, especially the plasma B cell. And after the while, it become almost zero. And that's the time these people can get infected by the flu virus again. So why the plasma B cell are more important than the memory B cell? The reason is the plasma B cell are consistently producing the antibody, as I explained in the beginning of this video. That is the problem. And that's our body mechanism towards the influenza. And since our body mechanism towards the coronavirus is very similar to 
to influenza virus, I can conclude that after we receiving the vaccine, we will get a very good immunity. As the companies mentioned, 90 to 95% immunity. And, and this immunity caused by the plasma B cell and the memory B cell. But the thing I really suspicious is this immunity will be dropped after one to one and a half year. Why I give one and one and a half year more than the influenza vaccine is because of the technology that has been used for producing this coronavirus vaccine. They did lots of good uh, new technology and this new adjuvant and formulation that they use basically agitate our immune system more. Therefore, our body will produce more plasma B cell and more uh, memory B cell. Therefore, they will last longer in our system compared to the flu vaccine. Therefore, I expect we can have a good immunity within the one to one and a half year, but highly possible after this uh, duration, we need to get this vaccine again. So I just want you to have a very right expectation, no wrong expectation, no disappointment. I hope this information was interesting for you. If it was, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friend. Until next time, I wish you all stay safe and well.